So after the women's doubles second round affair, there we have, we've now got a men's doubles second round as uh, Fang Jian Min and Li Sheng Mu, the number 10 seeds, take on Hun Tian Hao and Mohamed Zachary Latif of Malaysia. This is another interesting matchup because the 2007 champions, Marcus and Kido, they withdrew from this side of the draw. And that was who they would have been expected to meet in the next round, the last 16. The winner of this match now will meet Wei Hong and Ye Xin of China, likely. Who, uh, well, both these pairs will probably fancy their chances against. And this is going to be an interesting matchup. Of course, we've got the number 10 seeds here. And that's the Malaysian pair coming through. Hun Tien Hao and Mohamed Zakri Abdul Latif, who saw off the 2005 champions of Bak and Gunawan in round one. There are the Chinese Taipei pair who had a bye in round one, but have had a few uh, disappointing results of late. And uh, the way that we saw the Malaysians playing yesterday, Morton. They'll fancy the, they can cause an upset again. They're, they're not being seeded, but they think they can come under the radar and maybe make some good progress here. Yeah, it's a, yeah as you say, it's an interesting match. Um, it will be a match when you look upon it from a European point of view, you would say oh, they play fantastic because they are playing the same game. And obviously they would challenge one another on the same things and it would look absolutely fantastic. And then when they get to play a different style, it will be completely different. So we're going to go in, I think, for um, a big bang. This is going to be attacking game, flat game from the word go. And they've met twice before and it's one win apiece, which says yeah, it all. I would believe that, yeah. Yeah. Here's the Malaysian pair that who are the fourth best Malay pair. But they've been picked to get a couple of others. There's been a lot of talk about should they have been picked, shouldn't they have been picked. But the coach's de decision, I suppose, vindicated by their win against Mack and Gunner mm. one, of course, former world champions yesterday. Teamed up last September, hasn't been a great pairing. And they were pondering their future together. But mm. they got the call to be playing in the world championships. So they were surprised as well. <laughs> and, well, they're trying to make the most of it. Yeah, it's, it's really funny because uh, I was I was the coach of uh, Malaysia in 97 to 2000 and I picked those two into the um, academy in, in, in Kuala Lumpur, so uh, I know them pretty well. OK, well, give us a little bit of insight then. Uh, they're, they're lovely kids, they're really good guys and, and they are very playful, very <laughs> playful. And you can see it in the game as well, especially Sakri, I think, is... Uh, you know, he's very skillful and he, he can play any shot in the book at any given time. Uh, sometimes it's just too difficult for him to choose which one to use. And he's, he's, <laughs> he's you know, World Championships, he's won bronze before, you know, yeah. he, you know with a different he's partner. A very, very good good player. And of course, the other player, Hun Tien Hao, he was uh, former World Junior Champions with uh, Tan, yep. who's now, of course, with Ku, and yep. they'll be going for gold as well in this exactly. men's doubles. Exactly. But uh, I, I, I would st I still say that. Uh, he looks, in, in my book, a little bit unfit, but uh, yes. he's still very quick and, and, and play really well, but uh, I'm sure he would benefit from uh, a little bit of physical training. So what about this Chinese Taipei pair who, you know, seem to play hot or cold, really? Yeah, but that's the, that's the style, that's the, how they play. Um, I think we saw them in Qingdao in, um, in the Sudirman Cup when they played Denmark against uh, Morgensen and, and Bo and they beat them in three sets and they really 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 played well but since then they've been poor you know they, they were beaten the second round of the us open by smith and wharf they were the number one seeds mm. in that to losing the second yeah. in their second match suggests and you know also uh, they were number one seeds in canada's they only got to the quarterfinals in that they haven't produced the results that they'd have been looking for ahead of these world championships no but uh, as you say they're hot and cold but uh, I, I, I really fancy them. I, I really spe uh, specifically f uh, find Fang very interesting. Uh, he's, he's forward, he's going for everything. He's moving into the net all the time. Wojciech Osowski and uh, Suzanne Taylor are the two main judges here, the umpire and the service judge. The 
Chinese Taipei pair wait. I mean, you look at their form in 2010, they were fantastic. They won three mm. wins in a row. They won four times an Indonesian Super Series. They won both the Canadian and US, which mm. we just talked about there, yeah. where they the didn't perform before. well. So yeah. they can do it. They, oh, could, yes. they could, you know, potentially win here this week. But and I, I think they are a really fantastic pair, but they got to hit the day. I, I agree with you on that. But if they do, they play well. So they're a pair that could win the whole lot, or they could go out today. It's, uh, yes. But I think that's, that says a lot about men's doubles these days. There are many, many good player, uh, pairs, and uh, the consistency of the pairs is not great. So uh, anyone in the top ten, I would say, could win. Service over, one love. There's Hun, who uh, just wants them to go out there and believe in themselves. The coach has been telling them to show no respect. And see, that's that's what I mean. That's that's Zachary in a nutshell. That, those two shots, you know, not many would do them, and he hole. just loves it. He's challenging it straight away. Well, he yesterday look was, at that, was look at that one, and then then cross again. I know he was the one yesterday against back and good one. He was he was playing those shots. He was the difference yeah. between the four he players. Was, he was he is really inventive. Great creativity. Yeah. As I say, sometimes you can't choose which one to use, <laughs> and that's the problem. Over, two, one. Oh, that's a nice ankle. That's really well played. Very good angle, very good surprise. Yeah, Fang Chiam in here. Giving the Chinese Taipei pair a slight advantage at the start of this opening game. Service over, two, three. Over 4-2. Really been playing some good smashes, Fang, from the, the baseline two. here. The last few points. Again, another winner. Got your pace and power in it as well. And that smash from Fang. Not too bad here from Puntian oh. Howe as well. Yep, hitting well. Sets over 3 5. They never let them off the hook. The Chinese Taipei six, pair three. really uh, went into the net and closer and closer and closer. Yeah, well played. Oh. Sense over four six.
Germs again now. This this is a poor shot. Obviously, looking to see if it was too too long, but still. And now they leave. One go, Lee, was he? Like a rock no, he was moving Seven his way in there. Seven well, I think Lee has played um, quite inconsistently uh, in the beginning of this uh, this match. I, I think he's he's played not not the best shots and made some easy errors and so on. So you know he's got to play himself into the match. Again, a very difficult Central shot play by Hoon nine. here. The next one here is really nice. Look at that disguise. He's actually going a little bit over it, and then everybody would expect it to go either cross court or into the centre of the court. And here it goes straight down the line. Really well played. Good deception. Over 10-8. That was very, very passive play from uh, from Fang. I think this one, this is passive. It's not really trying to to do anything about it. And it's uh, Fang and Lee who have given themselves the opportunity of trying to take this first game with the interval lead. Not really much between the between the two pairs here. No, it can it can go either way. <laughs> the fact that uh, Marcus and Kido, who I mentioned, would have been up next in the third round in the last 16, that they've withdrawn, it, it really has opened the gap for one of these to. To step through to <laughs> definitely but I'm, I'm sure it's not playing on their mind they're, they're so focused on trying to win this match that they really do not consider what's going to happen not now it's not now but i would have thought in the build-up they it, would have thought, you know this is an opportunity it's an opportunity but i'm telling you if every player every pair have to focus on on the match uh, right at hand because uh, if they don't do their their routes 11 8 so yes, they, they, they can see the gap, they can see the possibilities, but they're so focused on winning this more than anything. Oh! Service over 9-11. Ten, eleven. 
So the first couple of points since the interval have gone Ian Howe and Zachary Latif's away. It's Kuantana here, the number one pairing from Malaysia. But uh, all the hopes in the men's doubles rest with them, and of course with Lee Chong Wei in the men's singles. Well, the biggest surprise is we haven't got any women singles players from, uh, from Malaysia, Malaysia here this week. No, since uh, Wang Miuqiu has uh, stopped playing, uh, Malaysia has been suffering a bit in the, in the ladies' singles. That's well played by Sakri. Very hard to get past him at the net. Over 11-12. That one is really well played. Set up the winner for Hunt. But again, you know, it's 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 the same style of play as, as what I said in the beginning, and, and we haven't seen any blocks uh, in in the defence. Everything is hard drives, flat stuff, everything. Smash and flat, smash and flat. As a coach, Morton, would you want them to mix it up, or you've got to oh, say yes. just play to your strengths? Uh, I, I would mix it up. It's, it's too simple. It obviously, it sounds really ridiculous because you see Bampton at, at such a high level. But um, I think from a tactical point of view, they need to, to have more var variation uh, if they want to go all the way to the top. It's finely poised as we expected it would be. They're on the serve. Service over, 13-12. I think what he was asking there was, did it, did it hit him? <laughs> yeah. He got it in between his legs. <laughs> we will never know. Service over, 13-0. Very good length. I think it's hitting the line. Your thoughts were right. Yep. Oh, oh that one was out. just long. Service over, 14 all. Always difficult, isn't it, to leave it again when you know the last one hit the line? Yeah. But, uh, Takes a bit of courage. Yeah, good judgment there. And again, well judged. 15-14. Thin line, isn't it, between success and failure sometimes? Seeing the gap, playing it. Service over, 15 60. Yeah, he packs a punch, doesn't he, Hoon? Yeah. I think the beauty is that, you know, he's so many attempted just to, to hit as hard as they can and not think. He's hitting really well and obviously he's spotting the space as well, so which is a uh, really good placement. Oh! As he did again there. Mm. 16 0. Wow, this is turning into. Uh, a fascinating encounter, isn't it? It could be three times 30 29. <laughs> <laughs> You're tempting fate there a little. <laughs> it's just like yesterday when uh, Chen Long uh, he lost to the player from Guatemala. 
we had the first few shots there and it was really good play and all that and then I said okay now it's just going to last another hour like this and that's what happened so you never know yeah, a little area here well you say area it, it caught the net right at the top of the net it was uh, close to being the shot he wanted to play For the line, just fading to hit it. Yeah, it's out. It's a good call from the line judge. Sounds over 17 They were hanging, hanging in there a little there, the Malaysian pair, but the uh, Smash from Fang means they take the points, and well, it's the difference between leading by one or three. Yeah, and it's a massive difference. See, that's why I say sometimes you know he's rushing forward, and then he's playing this flat X, that one there. Imagine if he's just blocked it, and they would have had a, a nice attack and all that. And here they put themselves in trouble. Pegging again. Lovely disguise. Brilliant drop shot from Zachary. That's what he can do. The kind of play he can uh, produce. He's got all the all the shots in the book. And what a time to produce it. Edge ahead. Two points from taking the opening game now. Game points. 20 game points, 9 And the surprise pair, the Malaysian twosome, who weren't rated by too many back home. On the verge of the opening game here, but on the back foot in this rally. Yeah, we're getting out of it now. Not. Not. <laughs> They were almost out of it. <laughs> the door was shut. Over 1920. The dispatching the winning shot. One more game point, though. tenacity from Fang and Lee there because I, th I think there was a moment in that rally where the Malaysians thought they played the winning shot mm -hmm. but it didn't come and now we're level pegging again at 20 or we're into extra points now someone has to win by two clear points unless they get to 29 or <laughs> as predicted by Morton oh! that's, that's out over. Game points again, it's their third game points. Oh, that's well left. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> particularly given it could have been game point the other yeah. way. out of the reach of that crew there <laughs> three game points saved it always reminds me of when we used to play you know, so it's out of reach <laughs> <laughs>
fourth game points. Yeah. That was the coach, Malaysian coach from Indonesia, Rexy, Rexy Meineke. His brother's on the uh, Korean team, isn't he? The Korean men's doubles team. Um, As a coach, I think, yeah, there's a bit of competition between the brothers. Could be, I'm actually not too sure, but they're, they're, they're actually mini brothers. I think they're five or six brothers, and they're all involved <laughs> in badminton. So. Well, four times they've had the opportunity to take this opening game. Four times denied by Fang and Lee. And showing great mental toughness here. Yep, on our way to 29 all. <laughs> well, fifth time lucky, maybe. Yeah, I don't know if you have a saying like that, but uh, <laughs> I've just used it. <laughs> Do now. Yeah. But it, it just shows again how difficult it is to serve. It, it's um, uh, the, the point go with the receiver the, the whole time, if, if you notice. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. so it just shows the, the point of how difficult it actually is to serve. Kind of pressure you on, on the right from the beginning of the rally. Serve. Yeah. Is it this time? Oh, well retrieved, but not enough. Put away by Li Shengmu. Just that little bit of indecision allowed the uh, Chinese Taipei pair to get on top. Sakri really wanted to kill it. He was hitting as hard as he could two or three times and then trying to move in in the net, but they managed to get it over him. 23 all. On our way to 29. <laughs> First time then in this opening game. It's a game point to Fang and Lee. Saved it. As if I should stand water. Another <laughs> 10 points to go, and we're at yeah. 29 all. Uh, let's see. Time for a little breather. A deserved little breather. Yeah. Chances are not great for 24, uh, 29 all. So it's just a bit of a joke. Let's see. Doesn't happen often, does it? No, it doesn't. Eight points in this opening game. 24 all. Got nerves of steel, haven't you? That's Service over 25 24. Long and Fang Chiamin and Li Shengmu come through in this opening game 26 24. Well left by Fang. Um, great relief as well to see it drop long. <laughs> 23 minutes on court for the opening game. Really hard now, isn't it, for Tunti and Hao and Mohamed Zachary Latif to just pick themselves up and, and put that disappointment behind them. 
Yeah, normally I, I would ag agree with you, but especially in this pair, I, I think they're very spirited. They, they really fight all the way. Every time I see them play, they, they never give in. They do their best and try to, to, to come back in. I know when the, the Danish pairs are playing them, they actually hate to play them because they, they just keep at it and keep going. And, and you know, sometimes they just get a little bit of uh, a small, small chance and they take it and they win. So um, we know that they are a very good fighting pair. Five game points, though, they missed out on in that opening game. Yep. But as we mentioned at the start, you were talking about the uh, Sudamin Cup when they played mm. against Boa Mergensen. Yeah. They, they don't shy away from seconds. marathon matches, these two, do they? No. That was well over an hour. They, they fight. I, I think, though, that, you know, if they get under pressure and they really get pushed, it, it, sometimes it looks like they, they haven't got answers. And I think that's what happens when they when they play, like, as you said, in the in the U.S. Open and the Canadian Open. It's not going their way. Suddenly, they don't have the answers. Where you know, when they play well on top, you know, they play Second like fire. Game, Lovell, Lake. Well, that was a good sign of putting disappointment behind you from Moon here. Nice disguise on the drop shot. Oh. Right through the middle from Lee. Service yeah. over. Good smash. A typical shot from from Sacri here. Obviously, he's unlucky. It's going out, but again, it's executed so well. Interception of Fang on the third shot. Service over three four. then that's very understandable but he, he was playing it from too low this is a too low position You've got to go up there push the pace dominating at the net there Lee yes definitely Well worked by Lee, could smash there Six and then four. suddenly the surprise in there on the forehand side of uh, Hun, really well played. Yeah, it looked a little slow to out there, Hun, is it just that he was just... He was caught a little bit by surprise. 
Yeah, they can't afford these uh, over, five, serve six. mistakes. Yeah, that's two in this game now. It is. And out of five points for the Malaysians. Big percentage. It was out. Good judgment for a seven over Jimmy. seven six. <laughs> Not an easy one to call that one, was it? Mm. Oh. <laughs> he is not happy with that one, Sakri. He thought he could get away with that, but no ways. No ways. Look at this. Look at it. He's trying to play. No, he's, it was seen from, from the word go. placed on the forehand side of the body. Seven's over, nine, seven. That's first one, second one. I'm not surprised they need a new shadow after that last rally. But none has been over 300 yet, has it? No. Giving Lee a little bit of a taste of his own medicine here. And again, it's uh, noticed that it's on, on the forehand side of the body where the mistake is coming in the defence. Actually, what I'm looking for is these more soft shots uh, on the defensive side. Here you see the lift, and then he's trying to play the soft shot, but can't really control it. And because of the fact that they can't control it, that's maybe why they're always uh, pushing it. So it's over, 10-9. Another one for the statistics. <laughs> Again played and look at this, look at this smash. It's coming up now. Look. Again, forehand side. And he tried to play it backhand. Yeah. So once again at the interval, it's Fan Chi Min and Li Sheng Mu who have the slight advantage. But you wouldn't want to call this game quite yet, would you, Moon? No, definitely not. Three times, 
11 9. Late. Well, it's been thoroughly enjoyable. There's been plenty of entertainment. Lots of hard hitting no! between these four players. So it's over 10 11. Been very tight throughout as well, which is just added to uh, the fascination of watching who's going to come out on top. I think there is actually a, a nice variation here. Look at the block that's coming from the net now. Look at the block. That's the one, that's the one. Rather than pushing it back to them, the block is coming. Seen a lot of that, haven't we? Yeah. Well, it's, it's interesting. Uh, I think the, the tactic here these days in, in men's doubles is that obviously you, you go on the attack, but sometimes you also have to have the nerve to, to give the initiative away in order to take it back again. Because if you just keep smashing and smashing and smashing, the defence on the other side is so good that they eventually get in on, on a counter-attacking situation. So you attack and then suddenly you give it away in order to take it back. And that's what happened here. It's about when to do it though, Exactly. Isn't it? Service over, 13-12. Well, after working so hard to win that previous point. Yeah, then serve. Serve in the net. Yeah. Be happy it's not under the old scoring system. <laughs> That's over 13 all. Yeah. Exactly. Very, very good shot again from Sakri. That's the creativity we see from him. This is the shots he can play. And probably the only one of the four that can really do shots like this. I'm sure Rexy must be quite happy with that. You wouldn't know it looking at him necessarily, I suppose. <laughs> no, no, he's not giving anything away. I think it was really well played by Hun there, but Sakri was too late to, to, to see it and therefore too late to move in the net and had to lift it. But it was well played. Now it comes here. This is nice. Sakri is too late getting up at the net and covering the net. Don't do that, he's waiting for it. Service over, 15-14. Well, it's another game that's swinging one way, then the other. Every point's a crucial point. Yeah. Not the best of shots. Service over, 15-0. Got punished straight away, look at that. Going cross-court now. 
completely open court. Possibly six more points for victory for Fang and Lee, or maybe six points for Hoon and Zachary to take us to a third. Again, it was good to see the change in, in the smash here from Zachary. Normally they, they go for the body, normally they go for the centre of the court, and suddenly he goes for the tram lines and then and hit a winner. That's a very good variation again. Well played. What is this their opportunity? Down at the interval. Now two points to the good. Of course they had five game points there. What an opportunity that was. He, was. he wasn't happy. He missed it. And if we're looking back at this point in, uh, as a pivotal moment. <laughs> that w won't be forgotten. How frustrating is that for everyone in the Malaysian camp? Yeah. This time, Rexy couldn't hide it away. since the interval. Yeah. Can't afford it. And the last two serves. The Malaysia's been fought. Yeah, 19 all now. Again, look at where it's finished, it's on the forehand side of Sakri. There we go. That's a very clever variation. That's really good serving. And it's match point. It's excellent serving. Been serving low the most of the time, and then suddenly this flick serve is coming in. That's really well played. Clever, clever. And just like it. that, it's it match over. The Malaysians trying to say it was out, but it was good. And Fang Chiamin and Li Shengmu have come through a hard battle here against the Malaysian pair. This the winning point, and it was as close as the match was. Right on the line. It's close. Yeah. Match won by Fang Chiamin, Li Shengmu, 26-24, 21-19. Well, they say five game points in that opening game. And then, well, at 19-17 now, they took the final four points to come through 21-19. It was a thrilling match, they thought. It was a very good match, just as, as what we expected. It was fast and furious all the way. And as you said, it was touch and go. Well, it took them 43 minutes, but the uh, number 10 seeds have uh, come through.
A little bit of the stats there over the match itself. Anything stick out for you? It's pretty close like the match was, isn't it? It is. <laughs> Very hard to say. But, but again, the Malaysians are winning on the net winners, 7-3. And that, again, just drives the point of, of the fact that the Chinese Taipei pair really is driving everything and hitting everything. They, they don't play these soft shots into the net and giving themselves opportunity. It's Fang and Lee through to round three.